everyone. This time we will review the fundamental of mathematical logic. Please subscribe on my channel. In our daily lives, we encounter situations that we have to listen out. More often, we have to make decisions no matter how big or small. There are also instances when we simply have to appeal our common sense to be logical. What does it mean then to be logical? So logic, as they say, is a science and art of correct reasoning. We need correct reasoning when we answer test question. A foreman, for example, needs logic as this in construction in constructing houses. And even lawyers reason out and use logic as they find ways to defend their clients. This is mathematical logic, a study of reasoning. It is concerned with whether reasoning is correct or not. It focuses on the relationship among statements rather than on the content of any particular statement. So the reasoning provides rule and te techniques to determine whether an argument is valid or not. So we have an example. If x is an even integer, then x plus 1 is an odd. So this is a true statement. All mathematicians wear sandals. Mario wear sandals, therefore Mario is a mathematician. Propositions in logic, this is a declarative sentence that is either true or false, but not both. First, we have let P, you can denote by any capital letter. Two is an even number, and this is true. Let Q, capital Q, seven is an even number, which is false. We have R, A is a vowel. They're not a proposition, so an example of not a proposition. So we have here, my cat is beautiful. This is not answerable by true or false. My house is big. This is not also answerable by true or false. Truth value. One of the values is either true and denoted by T. And if falsity is false, it's denoted by F. So first, uh, connect connective, we have negation. Negation is, negation of P is not P. We have the symbol there. So, for example, A is not a consonant position. It is the case that A is not a consonant. So, we have the truth table. We have here P and the negation of P. In every statement, it can be true or false. So, the negation of true is false. The negation of false is true. Another connective, we have here the conjunction. Let P and Q be statements. The conjunction of P and Q written P and Q and that is for conjunction. So a statement formed by joining statements P and Q using the word and. So we have the truth table. The statement P and Q is true if both P and Q are true. Otherwise, the entire sentence is false. Again, true lang siya if the first sentence connected by and and the second sentence the two sentences are true. So we have the truth table. If P is false, false, then false, false, therefore false. P and P, false. False, true is false. True and the second statement is false, so false. Only true if the two sentences connected by N is true or are true. Okay? That is for conjunction. We have other forms of conjunction. We have but. Moreover, however, whereas, yet, nevertheless, nevertheless, still, furthermore, despite, and while. Second connective, we have what we call as disjunction. Let P, let P and Q be statements. The disjunction of P and Q written P or Q that is denoted by OR. So the statement P or Q is true. This one of the statements is true. If na isa ka true, the entire, the entire sentence is true. So we have here the truth table. False, P is false, false, therefore false. False, then we have one true, therefore true. True, false, true. Fa true, true, true. So ma false lang siya if the two sentences connected by or is false. So all the rest is true. If at least one is true, therefore true. That is for, that is for 
this junction uh, that is for conjunction by okay yes conjunction this junction okay so we are now in the third connective or what we call as conditional for conditional let p and q be statement if p then q so we have here the truth table if p is true and q is true therefore true only tf is false if the first statement uh, statement or sentence is true followed by the second is false therefore false all the rest is true so that is how you are going to familiarize so again only tf therefore false for the conditional statement all the rest is false false therefore true false true therefore true 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 therefore true we have other forms of conditional statement if p then q q is p p is sufficient condition for q p implies q p only if q q is necessary for p we have next is by implication or by conditional for by implication or if and only if here is the truth value false if and only if false therefore true false true false true false false true 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 so only if the one is different or if you have the same false all false therefore true but if one is false the other is true therefore false thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe on my channel you can recommend a topic to review in the future god bless everyone